Okay, like I said before, I have another review for you. Uh, this is uh, a review for the Magic Trackpad, and uh, we're going to go ahead and dive right into this one as well. So here we are. Obviously, everybody probably has seen the, the packaging either at an Apple store or Best Buy or anywhere else that, in your area that carries Apple products. Um, if you uh, need to know the model number MC380LL-A, and uh, that is the Magic Trackpad. I bought this at my local Best Buy, um, at basically retail price, obviously, um, and then because uh, I had some reward zone coupons and stuff like that. So uh, that's the box. Box is meaningless to me. <laughs> but here is the device. Just like the Apple Bluetooth keyboard, put them right next to each other, basically. They are a seamless entity. They are the same size, they stand the same height. Everything is built to be next to each other, really. They they integrated their components just like they integrate everything else. Um, and it is quite the device. Just like the keyboard, you push the button here. You can see the green light that just came on right there. Uh, and then it's blinking to try to connect to a device, which I don't have anything running right now. Click and hold, and then when the light comes off, Boom, the uh, device is now off. Uh, one thing that I thought was weird, but makes complete sense why they did it, um, is you can see it is a large trackpad um, and does have a click. However, it's not an actual button. This is a just a large trackpad device. The actual button itself comes from these feet, actually. If you actually can see, the foot itself, the little rubber pad actually goes in both sides. So if you are on this side of the device or this side, it will pick it up. If you're way up here, it gets a little harder. You have to push a little harder because it's these just these two little feet that are actually pressing in. Which makes it easy for them because then they don't have a gigantic pad and you don't get the dead spots like you do in the uh, trackpad on the MacBooks. However, you do have to push harder when you go up here. So. I actually do, uh, at first I was kind of, thought, ah, that's kind of weird, but it actually works very, very well. Um, there are two rubber feet up here, just like on the uh, Bluetooth keyboard. And just like on the Bluetooth keyboard, which I can show you again, for those who haven't seen that review, it is the exact same setup for taking the batteries out, and or changing the batteries out. I'm not running rechargeables yet. These are the batteries that came with the unit. Energizer Advanced. Just two AA batteries, and then just like before, you just uh, throw this guy back on. I don't know why I have problems doing it. Maybe it's because I'm doing this through the video camera again. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Huh? So I just turn it until she pops. There she goes. Never can do it better on camera than you can do. Snug it up. All right, and there we are. Um, connects to your MacBook Air, your MacBook Pro, your Mac iMac, or anything like that. Uh, any Macintosh, obviously, that has Bluetooth capability. Uh, if it doesn't have Bluetooth capability, just like on the, the keyboard, uh, you can just get one of these little Bluetooth dongles. This is just the, uh, uh, what do you call it? $10 iOmega, whatever, Bluetooth dongle. That, Bought at Walmart on clearance. I was happy, kind of happy that it was. So, you know, that's what I use for my PC. Uh, but uh, I'm going to grab my uh, MacBook Air here and show you the size comparison. It is around, I would say, 50%, uh, 30% bigger than the actual trap pad here on the MacBook Air. Um, it is a, in all in all, this is a very nice size for running any of your uh, applications easily. And from when I, when I, per I actually specifically purchased this device for use on the couch in a, in a media, a multimedia keyboard uh, trackpad setup. But I have used it on my desktop and I thoroughly enjoy it. There are certain things that work better when you have a trackpad. There are also certain things that really suck on a trackpad and a mouse is better for it. So in all reality it's nice to have both. Um, 
I use my RAT7 mouse on my, my desktop, so, um, but this works just as good. And there are drivers that you can get this to work on a Microsoft Windows-based PC. Um, and uh, I can kind of show you that as well here in just a minute. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and set up the Magic Trackpad on within Windows. Um, a couple things you're going to need is the drivers and uh, if you wish an optional piece of software that allow you to actually use the scrolling function, the two-finger scrolling that the standard Apple trackpads usually always run. Um, one thing you can do is just go to, go, uh, just go to trackpadcontrol.com, all one word, and you'll come up with this section here. You'll have three different options. You can actually, the easiest way to do this, there's a trackpad driver installer. Uh, you can click on that, download it, run it. It'll automatically download the drivers necessary and install them for you. But if you're like me and you like to do it yourself, I'll show you how to do that here in a second. And then there's the trackpad control setup app. Uh, this is a trial app and you can try it out to see if you like it and, uh, and then purchase it accordingly. I haven't purchased it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to because it does a lot. It gives you the, the scrolling that I've, I really like to have. Um, but I'm still, I guess, entirely decided on that. Either way. So you can do both of those or, uh, or one or the other. It's up to you. Um, with that said, I have that running and I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, within, if we uh, go back to, uh, I apologize, if we, um, I'll show you from the beginning here. So if we go to uh, Google and we just search boot camp drivers, the first one on the page is going to be an Apple support page for boot camp. Within that, you're going to want to click on the downloads tab right down here. Within here, I don't know why that keeps doing that, we can just search boot uh, camp software. Uh, and within those, you're going to have one that's going to be um, the newest version, 3.2 for 64 or 3.3. Um, either way, you're going to be able to get the uh, necessary drivers out of it. So I did thir three update for 3.2 for Windows 64. Click download, get that downloaded. Once you get that downloaded, you're going to have uh, a single file actually this guy right here uh, just like I did on the uh, um, keyboard installation if you watch that video all, all you do is right click and uh, go ahead and extract it with your uh, favorite extracting tool mine's 7-zip nice and free I extracted it to a separate folder here uh, within this one you're going to want to use the uh, bootcamp update 64.msp or if it's a 32-bit obviously uh, right click again 7-zip extract it I extracted it to a different folder and then within here, you're going to see a whole piss load of folders, and you're going to want you're going to want the the trackpad part. And so you can actually search, or you can actually just go through these one at a time and try to find the Apple wireless trackpad bin. Uh, it's going to be two almost two and a half megabytes. Um, or if you don't want to hassle around with all this, just go to the search uh, asterisk trackpad and then another asterisk and enter. And then it'll obviously search for anything that has that word within, because it's always within a whole bunch of other junk, garbage. So there's a whole bunch of them, and they're all the same file. So, um, and then you can uh, uh, extract that accordingly. Um, so I'm just going to go back here. Let's, uh, here's the wireless trackpad, 7-zip. I'm going to extract it to slash binary. And there we go. So here's the necessary driver files you're going to need. You're going to go ahead and you can actually just run the application, get those installed if you need. Here's the DLLs and stuff like that. So there's everything that you're going to need. And then, like anything else, you go ahead and turn the the uh, system on. I already have my Bluetooth dongle. I'm gonna have to widen back out here. Sorry. So I have my little Bluetooth dongle over here. I turned on my trackpad. I've already set mine up, but within the uh, Bluetooth settings on my computer here, uh, it'll show up as a, as a mouse um, within the system itself. And uh, obviously, you just if you're going to add a device, just hit Add Device and accordingly uh, set up the devices as set. This isn't a complete tutorial. I just kind of wanted to give you a rundown of where to get the files and stuff like that. Um, but uh, but yes. So that's how it goes. After you get those device, those uh, drivers installed, and make sure that the driver is selected, everything should work 
just as normal. Uh, obviously there are no three finger gestures within the Windows architecture system, uh, which to me sucks. But I think there's probably some ways around it. I'm still kind of researching those. Um, I guess I don't need to use that mouse. But uh, if you have over here, I have that trackpad control. Um, let me minimize this so it looks clean. There we go. Oh, yes. Another lucky thing. So um, within this, obviously, it tells me how many days after my trial. Um, you can choose click to drag. Um, click to drag allows you. If you actually stop and hover, tap with one finger to invoke a primary left click. So, uh, tap to click, you know, like anything else, if you just tap without actually pushing down on the actual physical buttons, it'll work. I like that feature. Uh, dragging allows you to um, invoke dragging with double tap. So, if you actually just double tap it, let's see if I can get it to do it. Uh, so, yeah, if I double tap it'll actually just lock it on and then uh, oh what the heck there we go so tap double tap again just tap to uh, get it to go kind of funky I don't know if I really like that one so much uh, secondary click obviously is the two finger push which will give you the right click of a mouse uh, scroll which is the two finger scrolling up and down to scroll websites and stuff like that uh, loading options and then secondary click you can actually have it set so one side or the other is the secondary click and actually that's what the secondary click here is is that um, you can actually have both or the, the button here is you can actually have like the right click, if you actually also click on the bottom right corner of it, it'll invoke. Uh, I guess I should put this remember. It'll invoke a right click, rather than if you click on the left side, it'll do that. And then you can actually swap sides if you don't like that. If you want the right click on this side, so for left-handed people or whatever. So I'll go ahead and close that. Close that, and I'll go to a website here. So obviously I'm back at the downloads, if I actually use my two fingers, I can now scroll with the mouse pad. So that's basically a real quick setup and uh, use of the Apple Magic Trackpad with Windows. And I, this is an obviously a self-built Windows machine, so it actually works like it should. So there you have it, that's the Apple Wireless Trackpad, the Magic Trackpad. Um, it is quite the device. I really, really enjoy it. Actually, it's not a necessity. Uh, if you're look, if you're doing a lot of artsy things and uh, stuff with Photoshop and other things, it's really nice to have. If you're doing certain, if you're doing gaming, then it, it's almost pointless. There, I mean, seriously, gaming with a mouse is ten times better than it will be with a trackpad. So, to keep it in reality, it's not something that's a necessity. However, if you're doing stuff off the couch, like I will be doing, um, a trackpad works light years better than a mouse ever will. Uh, yeah, mice can work on your jeans and on the couch and stuff, but it sucks in comparison, especially if you have other people on the couch with you and you have food and drink and all other sorts of things. Trackpad just works better. It's, it's quick and easy. So, um, With that said, I'm happy I purchased it, and I can't wait to get... Uh, my devices integrated together, the keyboard and the, and the trackpad for use on the couch, and that will be one of my next future videos t to, uh, to review that as well. That's set up as a, a combined entity together, basically to, to review the actual device that's going to hold them together. So can't wait to get that. Uh, that should be here either today or Monday. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please comment below. Uh, if you would, and uh, if you if you like what you see, subscribe above. Um, check our ad advertisements out on the side there. It helps me out with uh, being able to provide these videos for you. And uh, by any means, if you have any uh, recommendations for me to do future reviews on, let me know. But uh, please comment below and let me know what you think of the video. And if you have anything future, further to add that I messed up myself or that I just didn't touch on. So with that said, I appreciate you watching and take it easy.